back live. Hello, TikTokers. Fantastic. Yeah. Right up to you. They're back. Well, first of all, can I welcome the TikTokers back, Scotty? Yes, you certainly can. It's a lovely idea. Well, welcome back, TikTokers, to the Scotty McClue Worldwide Owning. Oh, you were superb. I couldn't have done it better myself. Now, now, Scotty, I've got a wee problem here. Yes. No, I've got, uh, you know these baguettes you buy in the supermarket? A baguette? Yes. Well, I've got one in the cupboard, right? Yes. How long have you had it? <laughs> well, it, <coughs> this is a funny thing, Scotty. It, it's, it's dated February the 27th. Ah! What year? So, well, <laughs> that's a funny thing because uh, it's not thing. a year on it. All right, and is there any mould on it? Well, wait a minute, Scotty. Listen, I don't remember buying it. All right. I mean, sometimes, so, am I not right in thinking that you like a wee refreshment? Only one, once or twice um, and a fortnight. Well, sometimes on the way home from a wee refreshment, we buy stuff that we don't always remember. I don't know I don't know if you've ever come down in the morning and there's some pizza or a wee fish supper in your pocket. Well, this is for a supermarket, Scotty. Oh. Had the car. Ah, right. So you wouldn't have been. So that's not well, the answer. I've been on the sauce. Numpty well, Heat. Been on the... You've been on the brown sauce. Numpty Heat. Give me two seconds. Guys, if you're watching on the YouTube channel, can you please pop over and click the subscribe button? It's absolutely free, and it will mean that you'll get your notifications. And if you do it now, I'll see it here. So everybody watching on the YouTube channel, please click subscribe now. Not to you, sorry about that. I had to uh, just get on there, you know. Oh, well, you've got to take care of the, the bills, you know, Scotty. You've got to tell them. And your tax bill, you've got to take care of Oh, I was watching a money program just before I came on, No Names, No Petrol, and uh, they were saying that you need to get your self-assessment returns in. Well, you'll be a very busy man then, Scotty. Oh, well, mine, mine goes in uh, as soon as I can get the P60s. And you've got a few in him, I'm sure. Oh, there are a few P60s coming. <laughs> now, now, Scotty, uh, mind I tell you how I missed um, your Saturday night show on the 9 o'clock sharp one? Yes. Because I'd been abducted by aliens. You had. Hello from Stirling, says Jody, by the way. Well, hello, hello Jody and Stirling. Uh -huh. uh, well, they, 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 they brought us back a week last Wednesday. Right. So that's why I missed your show, because it took me away on Friday night. Uh -huh. It took me off a week last Wednesday. Right. So I was missing for... A wee while, I've just lost time, you know. That these things happen when you get abducted by aliens. You You're abducted by aliens now. Uh, did, you get a, did you get a swatch at their coupon? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, did, you, get, did, you did you get a look at their pass? No, no, Scotty. I, I can't remember much about it. Right. You can lose like, like when you get abducted by aliens. Now, you, you, don't think, you don't think the aliens gave you the baguette, do you? Maybe maybe I was say here, take that back to the shop for us. Maybe, maybe that's why they abducted me. I think that might be what it is, not to hit. Now, now Scotty, another, another question for you. Yes. See how the buses have taken off the stickers, no smoking. Does no, that mean I, they can smoke on the buses? No. You said, I, no, I don't want you getting lifted for that. But there's no sense in no smoking. They've taken them off. Ah, but then that's because nobody smokes. So there's no point in saying no smoking. Nobody smokes. You see, the buses used to have no, a no. sign that said no spitting. And that was in the days when people smoked a lot of tobacco cigarettes and they used to spit on the floor, dirty middens, right? And that was, uh, uh, there was a lot of tuberculosis about at the time. Yeah. And they didn't yeah. want to spread the tuberculosis. 
So they had this no right. spitting. And of course, as kids would change it to no sitting, they would rub it a bit of the pee with the white, you know, and have it as oh. no sitting, but thinking aye, it was funny. Aye, aye. No sitting. No sitting. But then the pen might mistakenly put an H in. Oh, well, that it could actually. And then you could have been no spitting, ha. Huh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> see, do you see what I just did there, Lord Jesus? Well, you, did you spit? No. And then another one was on the railways. It used to say, "Do not lean out of the window." And oh, with the speed movement, ah. yes, because you could get decapitated. And, and did uh, you, could? you could get decapitated. And of don't, course, don't try that at home. Don't try that at home. No, no, that was for information purposes only. And um, the children used to change it from school to "Do not clean suit off the windy." So instead of what? "Do not lean out of the window," in the days of the steam trains, they changed it to "Do not clean suit off the window." I, I can understand why, because you're not going to see the windy, so you put your head out to, to clean it. Well, you see, on a wet day in Scotland on a steam train, and I can remember getting the steam train past, and we went through, I think it was Joppa we went through. Was Joppa closed? There was a station closed in 1962, and we oh, went through it. How did you get that? I know oh, you... You'll remember all that, do you not? <laughs> no, I don't remember, Scott. There's one here. Here's Gordon telling us, 1936 Transport Act afforded the bus driver to pee against the side of the bus. I think, Gordon, if I remember right, it was you could pee on the back wheel. Aye, Scott, you're right there, because I remember yes. reading something about... Uh, the back wheel, but it has to be the the curb side wheel. Yes, the near side back wheel, near side rear wheel. Ah. And another one was, I'm sure, the thing about the fast black cars, as I used to call them, the hackneys. Um, they had to have a bale of hay in the boot for the horse. That's right. Is that right? There was some old rule about that. And there was another one where if somebody came to an inn, the, the innkeeper had to open up the show because one person required his services. Yes, that's right. Well, I can remember, I mean, it's a terrible thing, uh, you know, the terrible fire at, at the Jenner's building. But I can remember somebody telling me that they went into Jenner's just before they were closing. I don't know what's five or six o'clock. And just before they were closing, and the, there were covers on uh, a lot of the, you know, the stalls and what have you. And um, the the chief floor walker, you know, the sort of Captain Peacock guy from Are You Being Served? He uh, ordered, uh, he ordered, this guy was looking for a card. He ordered that they took all the covers off. He said, there's a gentleman looking for service. Get these covers off. Well, well Scott, Scott if, if you were a famous celebrity, right, you could actually go into a store, they would throw all the other customers, shut the doors and say to you, if you were a famous celebrity, I, you I, yourself with being bastard. Yes, I, I could have done that, but I wouldn't like everybody flung out the store and then I wouldn't have had the money for the store anyway. Uh, but I think uh, I've heard of politicians getting this in London. They're allowed in early in the morning to just shop on their Todd. Aye, they didn't want pestered by the staff. That's before right. The staff come into work. That's right. They want to have a, a good look because sometimes, you know yourself, when you used to go into things, car showrooms were the worst. And you'd know, look, there was somebody over at you right away. Can I help you at all, sir? See anything you like there, uh, you know? And you thought, just uh, leave me for a wee while. And your top sales went, would just leave you. You could go in, you could try out the steering wheel because. What can you really do in a car except sit in it and do that, you know? Well, Kim, Kim what's the good thing about the car showroom, Scotty, is they've got the coffee machines. Yes, that's you right. Know, you can get yourself a coffee. If, 